channel then welcome back for another episode today I'll be doing a very interesting episode with regards to perfumes like you can see arranged here I did a poll last week on Instagram and 50% of the people it was with regards to would you like to see more on my lifestyle or more on my forex journey and 50% of the people said they'd like to see lifestyle they're not really interested in the forex journey and um, another 50 say they'll do forex so i said why not just do a combo of both because it's a life of abundance you can have everything in one plate so today we'll be doing a bit of my uh what can i say are they my favorite perfumes or just a bit of my lifestyle based on the perfumes that i'm currently using or i would review yeah so i just a disclaimer there's from my understanding, I'm not a perfume enthusiast per se, and I'm not a perfume expert. I simply are a girl who collects perfumes whenever I travel or anytime I get gifted. Most of, most of them, if not 50 or 60% of them, I gift. Um, yeah, so that's how I collect my perfumes. Another tip on shopping for perfumes would be I normally shop duty free as much as when I travel I shop duty free and then also I normally save up towards a perfume that I really like like for this one I really really yeah was it that one or this one I really saved up for this one the both of them actually so I saved up for one got it then saved up for another one and got it in installments so yeah so it's not like I'm, I'm just buying them randomly off the shelf so I plan in advance and then save up for something that I'm really looking forward to and then I buy it and then of course because I love perfumes there's people who are around me who gift them to me like babe thank you so much for a lot of the items here and my mom and my sister thank you so much uh yeah so let's just get into the video let's jump into the video if they go in no order that um like this is nicer than the other but of course I have my favorites and yeah so I'll start with the ones that I was using when I was much younger as a, until what I'm using now and another disclaimer or not a disclaimer just an explanation so there's the oods there's this types of perfumes called the oods so you'll buy like a Gucci oud that means it's quite musky quite deep quite zesty or like full and conch of perfume then a notch lower would be the RD per, perfumes know my pronunciation I'm not French but I do appreciate the pronunciation and then a bit of a lower one would be the eau de toilettes so you'll find like eau de toilettes are a bit like body sprays or not really sprays but they're less conch than the eau de perfumes and then eau de perfumes are less conch than the woods so if you're somebody who doesn't want like too much of a strong smell around you so you'd want to go for the Audi perfumes or the Audi toilettes and if you're somebody who would want a rich musky smell like my friend she's Somali and she really loves all that smell around her so let's jump onto the video and no more talking too much and let's get started so my first perfume would be um uh, for a younger person would be the Euphoria by Calvin Klein I'm very nostalgic to this perfume because when I was going to uni uh, I, I was checking in we had at the hostels where I was staying, the accommodation, we had like a welcome package and it had a really, you know those handbag perfumes, it had a euphoria perfume. So automatically, this is what was my first perfume. I fell in love with it. I kept using my pocket money to buy euphoria. So the smell it has is more or less like a, a uni girl who has her life together or just wants to smell nice. It's just a young, polite scent nothing too special about it so if you're in uni these are some things you should consider buying um i don't know if i know uni students now do have money um when i was in uni we did have like extra money for fancy perfumes i do know some students now do have money so that's where i started off and of course my dad kept gifting me that during christmas and stuff like that then the next one once you transition from that scent would be the jimmy choo blossom it's an odd deep perfume I like the boxing, I like the glitter glitter, the pink vibe, it's still like princess-ish vibe. I'll be honest with you, what a 16-year-old girl would wear as perfume is not necessarily what a 27-year-old would wear or a 30-year-old woman. And it's not necessarily what a 50-year-old woman would wear. So I'm just bracketing them like that just to guide you. So when I transitioned from the Euphoria, I came now to the Jimmy Choo. 
I think I like the bottle and the boxing more than anything. It has a beautiful, beautiful pink sassy smell. It smells like flowers at the same time. It's quite fresh. It, it's quite vibrant. It's that just turn 18 year old, 19 year old vibe or 20 year old vibe. Beautiful. Smells amazing. Nothing that could pinch your nose or that could make you feel so cringe. So this is another perfume that I really enjoyed having. There's still a bit of it there. So sometimes when I'm feeling young, I get that on. And then we come to the Miss Dior. Miss Dior is, now you're no longer a teenager. You're no longer in uni. You are like just graduated. You have transitioned from uni. You have your first job. You went to a Catholic school. You're that polite girl whose parents are like pastors. So you don't really wanna attract the whole world. But you want to smell nice, you want to tuck in your shirt and wear a cute belt that matches your perfume. That's the vibe I get from this. I love the bow tie here. It's more, it's very feminine, I'll be honest. Um, uh, yeah, so feminine, floral, fresh, just like the Jimmy Choo is the vibe I get there. Then now we come to the Marc Jacobs. Okay, now this, if you have a very, it's, an, it's, it's a Marc Jacobs, the decadence. Decadence for me feels like fullness and like full of vibe. So if you are not very careful, this might turn you off a bit. The main tone is normally plum. Um, uh, it's quite pinching for my nose. It, you, you might not, it's not like the everybody's perfume. You might not like this at very first. So initially when you spray it, you feel like it's quite tingy and it feels like a ball of all roses combined. I might be wrong. Definitely I don't think it's roses or they could have roses, but it feels like red rose and a white rose and a pink rose and an orange rose all combined into a ball and just changes the whole ball game. So there's some men who would love women who smell like this and then there's some women who would never want to smell like this because it's quite full. Um, with regards to packaging, I like how it's fancy. Um, it looks like a handbag to me with the emerald um, snake print top. Beautiful for the eye. I can't take anything off this with a beautiful black tassel. The tassel might be a bit cocky, but it looks quite nice. I love it and um, I love the smell. So if you want unique smells, this could be something you could try. Also, this could be very good for gifting because of the packaging. And also for me, in my eyes, I feel like it's more of a celebrity perfume. Like you'll find celebrities showcasing this on their countertops, on their dress top. So you'll find like it's like a Vera Huda Zari kind of perfume just to have it there at the top, but it's nothing too special. Then um, from the, just in the same bracket, within the same bracket, this is within the same bracket as that. I love Gucci. It's now more like you're moving from the excited, the excited girl who wants to look like a celebrity and now you want to smell nice um it look i love the packaging i love gold and then the difference between these two is simply this is the gucci guilty diamond diamond limited edition this was just the normal gucci i guess because they sold and sold and sold they came up with a limited edition for me they smell quite the same yeah they smell quite the same very musky very interesting i would say very interesting if you're in Kenya, these are the things that your sponyo would probably spoil you with. Or these are the things girls who have sponyos would probably use. Um, nobody <laughs> come at me for that. And then this, this is actually a cologne by Paco Rabanne. I feel like Paco Rabanne is such a hardworking um, artist. I feel like he's coming up with beautiful, beautiful products that are so usable and very... A lot of people are liking them. So this is a cologne. I love the smell. It's so sexy. It's super fresh. It's super springy. This is something you'd wear like during summer or during a hot day in a beautiful yellow dress or pink floral dress and spray it all over your body. With regards to parts of your body that you spray, I don't know. I don't really spray my neck. Places where you have your veins or where you sweat. If I say that's what my grandmother told me. So even like behind your legs here. 
behind your neck when somebody hugs you you smell nice and fresh around your neck area so that you also smell the nice and freshness really not underneath the armpits for me but there's some people who do that i don't understand why and then i normally spray my perfume to my body i avoid spraying it on my clothes but then there's some you can spray on your clothes because they're too strong so this sexy beautiful perfume thank you so much Paco Rabanne, for this i would definitely get as many pieces of this as possible of the one million and of course now this olympia is just a sequel of this the undertone to me comes more of like a vanilla oh, i don't know why it makes me nostalgic i think i sat somewhere and there's a woman who i liked who had this perfume it smells so beautiful i love the packaging i guess because olympia is from the olympics it comes like an olympic trophy to me i don't know so it's a sequel it followed after he made so many sales on the lady one million and the one million he came up with another beautiful product vanilla is the undertone for this so if you're in love with vanilla you would want to have this and then we have let me give you a short story so my friend when i was living abroad she sent me to get um her mom a christmas gift and it was an elizabeth arden package she'd seen online so I went to get it and because I was not too creative, I was like, I'll get my mom the same. So once I got it to my mom, she was like, wow, what a classic, beautiful perfume that you could spray on your clothes and it never gets off. Like you could spray it today's Monday or today's Tuesday, when's today? Tuesday, it could stay for a whole five days. So it's more or less like, it's very classic. It's not, it's a bit old fashioned, not for any of the girls who would wear this like younger this is definitely more of a motherly vibe grandmother like a cool classic grandmotherly vibe it's more vintage to me more than anything so what does this remind me of now this feels like those old strong perfumes that you spray and never comes off um uh, what could the undertones be the main cedarwood but it's those smells that you'd probably want to give gift your mother or your grandmother or like it reminds me of a high school headmistress who has her life together and just wants to smell nice yeah then um next comes the chanel it's an eau de perfume so this is definitely part of the classics you cannot miss to have a chanel perfume in your collection I would definitely recommend if you love those strong smells that are quite bold and commanding the black and gold is quite simple quite unique a very unique smell you probably won't find this with everybody as you're passing the supermarket all around you so this is something you, you it's worth trying I'll be honest with you this was a gift thank you so much babe for the Coco Chanel I didn't even know about the Coco Chanel collection before this gift I haven't used it much really because I get headaches when I use very strong perfumes. So unless I use it, probably I would use this at night. Yes, I'd use it this at night because of the cold and the breeze taking that smell a bit off me. And then we come to the True Star. This was by Beyonce, if I'm not wrong. It actually it's Tommy Hilfiger. It has a nice smell once you smell it but i'll be honest with you once you spray it it smells a bit like insecticide or like doom and then as the day keeps going it smells nicer and nicer i don't know what undertones these people use for such kind of things but as the day keeps going it smells nicer and nicer it has an acquired smell you know like how you can eat something and it has an acquired taste it does have an acquired smell and um uh, yeah I don't think, I think if I was to bracket it of what girl would use it, probably it would be amongst there. Then we come to the boss, Hugo Boss. I think Hugo Boss is from Germany. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful perfume. Why am I saying beautiful so much, guys? Why? Surely, German. So now this is such a beautiful scent. It's pink. The bottle is, I feel like it has an undertone of like hibiscus or more like lily of the valley where if you have planted flowers and there's such a strong smell of beautiful flowers, this smells like that. Um, more of a woman in her 30s. 
a bit sophisticated, actually not a bit, quite sophisticated. This is something that would stay the whole day, it will last you the whole day. You'd wear this at work, you'd wear this at going for a function, you'd wear this going to church. It's something nice and elegant to me. It's more of an elegant, toned down woman, but at the same time, who wants to smell nice, who wants to feel fresh, who wants to leave a bit of a mark, but not too much, not too much like the Gucci's and the Marc Jacobs. Yeah, and then I feel like Marc Jacobs, they do have really nice, a nice collection. You should try out the other collections as well. Then we come to this in love with you. So now this is, you know girls, how we normally fantasize about this tall, dark and handsome man or whatever you fantasize about, this cute guy and he's taking you to Lamu and you are having the time of your life with Zanzibar or wherever and he just smells fresh. Now this is the female version for that. I think if you get this, definitely this man will fall in love with you. It's such a sexy perfume. Allow my language. It's so, so seductive to me. Very fun, bubbly, playful, sexy. Sexy is the vibe that I get. It's very, it's like a fantasy perfume. It gives me the tones of like, um, I don't know if it's like chocolatey or like liqueur. It's like chocolatey and nuts and strawberries mixed together. And I could be wrong. I'm just saying what my opinion is. But this is definitely... But it, Valentine's is coming up soon. Men, get your women this beautiful perfume. They will fall in love with you and you will definitely fall in love with them. It's such a fantasy perfume for me. So I love it. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then we come to Nalion in the summer beautiful like one billion times. Allow it. Allow it, allow it, allow it. So I'll come to this. I'll come to another cologne that I have. So I have the one million in cologne and then the Paco Urban Intense. I barely used it. There's sometimes like I don't know what goes through my mind and then sometimes I, of course, it's the Invictus. Sorry, I forgot to mention Invictus. Eh, it's the Invictus. Um, sometimes when I'm going to like places like outdoor games or like sporty things, yeah, when I'm feeling like a a mommy who has sons, soccer mom. When I'm feeling like a soccer keep it up. Even for the men who are watching this, this is also really nice for you. So, ladies, if you're looking for a gift to gift your man. This would be an amazing item to have. It just smells fresh and cool and tantalizing. Then we go to the Bulgaris. Bulgaris. So we're having a debate. Is Bulgari French or Italian? It's actually Italian. And the Italians just live lavish. I've barely used this. So I'll just give a brief difference between the Bulgari Omnia coral which comes in a beautiful pink box and cause because of this pink color already you can tell it's just a smash of beautiful fragrance hey <laughs> beautiful image me color what is up guys it's just now this is that lady who's in her 30s fresh hibiscus is somewhere in here I don't know if it's lavender, but it just smells like a flower bomb. You smell nice and elegant, beautiful. I love this because it stays the whole day. Um, the only difference with this would be now, this is the I love the packaging, nothing too fancy, but a bit thought of. So, this is the crystalline. So Crystalline from the name, I'm assuming white, pure, crystal. It's a bit more blunt than this. If you're those people who like something more comfortable, something more workplace, something more church-like, something more toned down, something more chill. And then now this would be if you're a bit, a bit, a notch higher, you want to smell fresh and pink and fuchsia and all those nice feminine things. 
yeah so this definitely is for a woman in her mid 20s her 30s has her life together probably wears matching handbag and shoes and it's just all about fashion and elegance yeah so one was a gift no both of them were purchased and these were the ones i was telling you i was thinking about buying them and i saved towards them another thing with perfumes by the way i'll just be honest with you you don't need five billion perfumes you don't need one billion perfumes you just need a couple of perfumes that will make you happy and then you keep interchanging them during the warm weather during the cold weather sometimes even during based on your moods based on the places you're going to based on how you've dressed um yeah uh yeah so that's that and then we come to my time favorite 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 if there's anything I love more than this, I don't know. It's the Dalian, Dalian, is it Dalian? Dalian Blue by Versace. I love the packaging. It comes in a big round blue box. Quite elegant with some beautiful gold detail that has a pattern with a Versace um, print at the top. And Versace just explains luxury. I thought initially because of this packaging that it would come like a very bold, strong, wood like smell. Shock on me. It was. Just look at this, guys. Look at this. Very, very beautiful packaging. Very bold, very confident, very. Oh, if there's anything I love more than this, Sidri. Sidri, what more I love more than this? I love this so much. I've had it for since this time last year. It's barely halfway through and I use it almost every single day during the day. I think it should be used at night, but I use it during the day purely because I don't like such strong smells and this doesn't come off as strong. It comes off as very subtle but commanding and bold. You've taken charge of your day. You have control of everything. You're ticking your to-do list. You are winning in life. That's the vibe I get from this. Quite elegant. Um, uh, it's an Audi perfume, natural spray. I have the 100 ml. I hope this will last the whole year because I don't plan on getting any other perfumes apart from this. But I have a wish list. I'm a girl. I have a wish list. But this is what is my go-to perfume. I think it has an undertone of vanilla. Or it smells to me like vanilla. I think I like things that smell like vanilla. That they, they don't pinch my head. They don't pinch my nose. They're not tingly. They're not, they don't make me dizzy. This is beautiful. Man, if you must gift somebody special, number one on the list is this. It will last the whole day. It will last forever. You wash your clothes a hundred times. It will still be there. And it's so subtle. Funny enough. Then it has a sister. I actually like that more than the sister. So the sister comes in a pink box. Of course, from the pink nature already, you can tell it's fruity, floral, fresh. Um, uh, it's a bright crystal. Um, from the name and from the packaging, same thing. Oh, Now this is so calming. You're elegant, you're calm, you're collected, composed, charismatic, put together. Go for the Versace Bright Crystal. I love it. I'd recommend it, but I'd recommend this first, then that one. And the other perfume that I would swear by is -da -da -da, the Libre by YSL. Um, it's an Audi perfume. The review, I don't even know how to review this perfume because, number one, just look at how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful the bottle comes. It comes with beautiful black cover, gold, 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 gold lining at the top, very solid bottle, square shaped with an YSL tag on the side, gold as well. The detail already just tells you this is sophistication. To the next level i'm 100 sure I, this is not even those ones where i say i think they did a good job i'm 100 sure they did a beautiful beautiful job what does it smell like it just smells classy 
So the undertones or the ingredient that would be here that's quite clear is lavender, vanilla. I'm not too sure if they have the cedar wood or the sandalwood, but there's something that's a bit musky about it on the undertones that would have either of those ingredients or on one of part of those ingredients, but it's extremely sophisticated. This is now for the working class woman, the woman who has her life together. She loves herself. Every single woman, I'm saying every single woman deserves this beautiful perfume. It just speaks freedom of expression, freedom of thought, freedom of speech, just a beautiful different mindset to put on this. I'll be honest, I've used very little of it, but every single time I have used it, somebody even stopped me at the parking to ask me what perfume I have on. My Uber driver has reviewed and loved this perfume on me, even on a scary entering the supermarket was like wow you smell nice so this is those things that this is one of those perfumes that you feel like wow i have arrived very classy very sophisticated very modern woman very independent free thinking and i guess from the name libre it might be liberty for the french because ysl is yes saint Laurent by the french this is a bit pricier, I won't lie, but it's totally worth it. You know, those, there's some things that are very pricey and you don't like them. And by, for perfumes, I'll also guide you. For perfumes, you don't necessarily have to buy the most expensive perfume, hoping it would smell the nicest. No, that's not how it goes. It really, For me, it really goes with your personality type and what you feel like you'd want to smell like. What Do you want to smell like a ball of flowers? Do you want to smell classy? Do you want to smell elegant? Do you want to smell vintage? It really depends on how you want to smell so it's i normally guide don't buy a perfume based on the pricing but if you are looking for something beautiful and amazing beautiful has been used 500 billion times on this video this is the perfume to have so i have a small wish list my wish list th that's all for today what's missing here is the black opium i would also swear by black opium and there was a lancome that i ever got with a sharp bottom those are perfumes that I liked. Black opium was really because when I was pregnant, I only I couldn't take funny smells around me. Pregnant women go through that. I could only have like coconut oil, olive oil, shea butter around me. Those are the nice natural smells I wanted. Funny enough, I would stand the black opium for some reason. So I really, really love it. It got over. I don't have it here. I wish I would have it here. It's part of my wish list. Anybody wanting to gift me? Karibuni. Um, another thing on my wish list would be the uh, Aqua di Parma and the Jo Malone. Uh, what else would I have on my wish list? Yeah, Aqua di Parma, Jo Malone, Black Opium. I would redo that again. Rogers, because of the reviews I've seen online. And the Lancome. I've seen people two, three weeks ago, especially Kenyans raving about it. I think they had the lounge or a pre lounge here in Kenya or something. They had something here. And I've seen people talking so well about it. The Lancome Idol, I'd also want to have that. Leave your comments down below, guys, on what perfumes you're currently using, what perfumes you have on your wish list, what you would recommend for me, somebody who wants like subtle, sassy smells that are affordable, not too off price. But of course, as I grow up in future, as I become those women that I, that woman I aspire to be. Uh, what perfumes I would use at that age. I'm sure there's people older than me who have a different taste of perfumes So tell me what I should get myself on before I get there and for the younger people or the people who are my age What perfumes are you currently using that you would review to me or for me to try and for the younger guys? What are the trendy perfumes that you guys are currently having? So please 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 I'll still line up and you don't tell people to subscribe. Please do subscribe I hope this video has given you value um let's grow our channel together and uh yes looking forward leave your comments down below and also any other things you would like me to touch on with regards to lifestyle any other videos you'd like me to do with regards to lifestyle but i hope you enjoy my 2020 collection or my perfume collection and review and what i'd wish for and also i think it's the Giorgio armani is it c or si i don't know how it's pronounced that's another perfume i like okay there's so many things i'd like to have because i also want to try the coco chanel chance my mind is all over the place but just tells you that this there's more to there's more things to explore on please leave your comments down below on what you guys use 
and let's see you on the next video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the support so far we have 100 subscribers which makes me so happy and overwhelmed but the journey is still going on thank you so much for watching have a blessed and beautiful week ahead au revoir i'm feeling so italianish and french and i feel like we've gone all the way to all the luxury places in italy see you guys next time Bye.